Bob, first of all, talk to us about what kind of progress you have made and how optimistic you are about therapies uh, in lieu of a vaccine. Sure, Emily. <clears throat> nice to be with you. So first of all, a couple things. Uh, as you indicated, we're working on two programs in parallel. The first is the partnership with Novavax to take their vaccine uh, into advanced development and, and eventually scale up the manufacturing process for that product for them. And then secondly, is taking our platform technology to develop a, a treatment uh, for patients who are either at risk uh, because of their potential access or uh, coming into contact with the coronavirus. So individuals who are working in a hospital setting or a nursing home setting or people, for example, who are immune compromised. Uh, and then the second patient group are individuals who are already in the hospital uh, and they are exhibiting severe illness and symptoms because of coronavirus. This may be a treatment that is essentially a rescue therapy. So the, the therapeutic products are the quicker path uh, to making available to patients uh, going forward. Our particular product, we hope to be able to start a clinical trial in about uh, three or four months. Uh, the duration of that clinical trial, we've yet to have really uh, agreement with the FDA yet, but our hope is because it's been, uh, it's being developed on a platform uh, that has also been, been used to license uh, many other therapeutic treatments, that the speed to a, a treatment is very quick. So you're saying it's going to take at least three or four months, and then you have to do the clinical trial. You know, it is, it's incredible that you're able to do this, but, you know, just how long are, are, are we looking at it, and how effective are these therapies actually going to be? I mean, the outbreak is now. The outbreak is now, and uh, we, like many other companies, are working around the clock to make sure that that treatment, that therapeutic treatment, is made available as quickly as possible. Uh, we are, again, hoping to be in a, a clinical trial uh, later this summer. And then depending upon the duration of that trial, could be a couple months. Uh, we have a high degree of confidence that the treatment that we're working on uh, is going to be shown to be very quickly safe and effective, given the fact that it's been used to license a number of products uh, with the FDA's consent. So uh, I know this seems like a long time, but uh, we are working, uh, as many other companies are, to quickly bring this to the patients who need it. What kind of communication are you getting from the federal government, and are you getting good communication from the federal government? Yeah, we, we are, uh, Emily. I mean, our, the, company, the history of our company is that we've been doing uh, this for 22 years, uh, and by that I mean we've been partnering and collaborating with the U.S. government as well as allied governments in the development of medical countermeasures to do exactly this. Uh, produce quickly and develop medical countermeasures for emerging infectious diseases for a long time. So uh, the communication has been transparent. Uh, it's been collaborative. And in fact, uh, you know, a manufacturing facility that we co-invested with HHS a number of years ago is exactly the facility outside of Baltimore that's being used to do the development and manufacturing for both the vaccine candidate as well as some development work for the, the therapeutic treatment. 